Alrighty folks, Paul here again, just another quick video. If anybody's been watching my channel, you'll probably see that I've done a couple of videos of this little excavator here, this Hyunai or Hoina or however you meant to pronounce it, I don't, I don't know, but yeah, I was watching a, a few videos on, well a lot of videos on the internet about construction RCs, mainly the RC Sparks Gold series, that's kind of really got me in, interested in them. But um, when I looked at the price of some of the ones that he's got, they're absolutely crazy. So this was kind of more in the budget that I was willing to spend to get one, especially since I've never had one before and wasn't sure if I was going to like it. But before I even start giving this a review, all I can say is it's absolutely fantastic. A superb little bit of kit um, in the box, which I'll open in a wee minute just to show you what kind of came with it. Is obviously you get the excavator itself, which is pretty heavy it's it's all metal i'll try and get in the camera here yeah, it's all metal um metal tracks solid even a little metal roof the bucket's metal it's really a, a heavy little bit of kit it's really impressive <laughs> um i think you need really, can you need that weight as well if you're actually digging with it because if it was pretty light it would probably just tip over when the bucket pulled it um, next up, the controller here, it's pretty much a PlayStation pad is probably the best way to put it, so you can set times on it, it lets you know your battery charge, it's obviously flashing just now because the excavator is off, but you've got your rotation here, your actual excavator itself, the tracks move forward and back with these little shoulder buttons, um, and your digger controls, other than raise, I think it's the main boom it raises up and down here. Then you've got your second boom and sideways is your bucket. Um, also with some of the attachments, there's a little button here. Um, this one does, oh, sorry, which one is it? Yeah, this one, sorry, excuse me. This one here does your little impact driver drill when it's plugged in. Um, you've got your sound effects and you've got your smoke effects here when you, you fill it up with a little sort of vape fluid it actually has got smoke comes out of the exhaust so it's pretty cool but um, <clears throat> uh, the pad's really really good quality kind of similar on par to a playstation pad and feel it's same kind of weight and quality plastic so that's pretty good before I go on to talk more about this I'll show you the box, the box. That'll be my cat. That'll be my cat there, just jumping about inside here. The place is an absolute tip. Obviously, having so many tracks, this is they're all broken down. So I've got a broken down TRX. I've got a broken down UDR and a broken down slash all in bits here than now. So <coughs> I all I can say is my armors are running fine. That's just a little dig I'll get in there now. So that's just the way it is, I suppose. Right, this is the box here, um, it comes in, it's quite heavy, I don't know what it's made of, it's kind of like a, it's not cardboard, but it's like a sort of plastic coated sort of hard box sort of feel, I don't know what material it is, but it's kind of like a fake pleather, if that makes sense. Um, inside that, I'll open it up just now, um, as I said, it's me velvety finish and stuff. Um, you've got your little pre-mold here and you've got your, it comes with the controller goes in here you've got your excavator sits here, then you've got your different arms, you've got your, your grabbing claw which you'll see in one of my older videos if you have a look and the pneumatic drill arm that's got a little cable that plugs into the boom to get power you get some basic tools, a little screwdriver, a little vape box and different bucket attachments here but yeah, it's a pretty solid little case and a neat little thing to keep it in. Um, I may have to give it a clean before I put it back in there. So, But the way I'm going with it just now is I keep a lot of muck about with it. So I don't think it'll be in the box anytime soon. But yeah, it's just neat. Instead of getting the, like when you buy a car, like for example here, my, my TRX box or any other box for any manufacturer, they're all cardboard boxes that nothing really you can do away, but the fact that you can pack it away neat in this is pretty good in my eyes. 
was quite happy with that. The only thing that did concern me when I first actually got it, um, I'm still amazed it actually hasn't been a problem, but the battery in it's absolutely tiny. I take the lid off the other now to show you the battery and I've got in the house, so I'll bring that in and I'll come back in a minute. This is the battery here. It's a 2000 milliamp 7.4 volt little mini lipo, and I think it's a, an XT, yeah, an XT30 connector on it, so just like a mini XT90. Um, it just comes in, you've got your little charger lead here. Plug your battery in, put this into a USB. There's a wee red light that comes up on this display, and a little green light flashes. When the green light flash stop, fl stops flashing, even um, becomes solid. That's it charged. But it just takes about an hour and a half or something. But like I say, with the, the size and the weight of the excavator, I kind of thought this wasn't going to be enough. But Every time I've had it out, I mean, with the logging video I've done with my TRX, where I was lifting a lot of heavy logs, travelling them about, just getting a feel for it, and I was pulling everything up with loads of power, um, went for about 40 minutes or so then, and the other time I've had it out, doing a bit of excavating my sort of rocky area, about the same, so there doesn't seem to be an issue. I was going to get a second battery, but by the time you've kind of used this one up, you kind of... You're ready to stop anyway, so it doesn't seem to be any problem at the size of the battery, which is a plus. I'll just put that back in. The battery's a little bit of a snug fit in there, but I mean, it does go in no bother. And once you've got it in your little tray here, it's, it's got two little lugs on the side of it, so you just Clip them in, push it down, so it's quite heavy to hold and look at the camera at the same time. And once you push it down, there's a little turning lock here. And you just twist that round, that locks it in place. And this is your little exhaust port where the vape comes out. You can see you fill up in here, just put a couple of drops in. And there's a little pump in there and it just brings out a sort of imitation smoke, which... Not really necessary, but it's an extra little detail that's pretty cool. Another thing, um, just quickly, obviously you've got your controller here to switch on, but before you switch your controller on, it's got, at the back here, there's a little power switch. Just, you click that on, you hear the sound there. And once you click on your controller, you hear it beeping, linking up. And that's you, that's you all connected, supposedly anyway. What have I done? Don't know what I've done there, but that's all connected. Um, like I say, with the controls, a probably good way to show just now is, we'll take the tipper, well, the excavator just with this left and right. You've got your secondary arms up and down here. I'll turn the sound off just now. Um, obviously, that's your sound button. That's your little pump for your smoke vape. Um, that's your, your main arm up and down. And that's your bucket. So, when you're. It takes a bit of getting used to, but once you start going, you can kind of. Get sort of motion is skipping quite easy with it, so another good thing it does as well is for example you can dig lower than the actual unit itself so you can see there it it can go quite far under itself just like a real excavator so that's pretty good. So the mud falling off it <laughs> we've not actually cleaned it yet. Um and also the tracks here, so you've got your left or well, right track depending on which way you're looking at it. So it's your backwards on the tracks, forward on the tracks, and obviously you push the different sides, you can spin it. Um, 
pretty simple. Just just getting a bit of the hand eye coordination when you're doing it. It's, it's not the easiest, but after about 10 minutes, you kind of get there. Also, another thing when the sound's on, it, it's got lights too, so it's pretty good. But like I say, I mean, for the price mark of this, obviously it's not got real hydraulics or imitation. And what there is is there's sort of screw rods in here, and there's actually and on the top it just spins, it basically turns the screw and it gives you the power, but at the same time, the look. Yeah, the hydraulic ram. I think there is a hydraulic ram kit you can get for this. I don't know how much money it is, but I'm not really in any need to get it. I'm quite happy with it, how it is. Um, what else is there? It's, um, you, you change as well, just by... Um, it's a little bit fiddly, it's not a two second job, but it's a little screw you take out here on this side, and a screw you take out that side, and a little nut on each side. And you link them on, and you get where you change your attachments onto the, the end of the arm. But there's a, I think, I think it's quite cheap. But you can get a quick release system. I'm not sure how that actually, how good it is. But you can clip that on, and it's got a sort of basically a connection here, and there's a connection you fit on your bucket, and it basically it can clip on and off quite fast. But it's nothing I've really looked too in depth to really tell you much about. But yeah, that's really it. Just not a lot to say other than for the money, it's absolutely awesome, a lot of fun. And I've been doing a lot of gardening recently, and I'd probably be done about a quarter of the time if I wasn't using this. But when I'm digging up soil and stuff, it's just too much fun. Um, what I'll do now is I'll just do a little video again, just to get working in the garden, let you see it. But um, this after a sort of mid-range price construction excavator. I don't think you can really look past this. Um, absolutely superb little package. No complaints, no problems. Um, and yeah, it's pretty powerful. And the battery lasts a long, long time. So, yeah. Alright, I'm just going to try and do it this way. I was trying to think of a good way to... So I show you how to operate this and it operating at the same time. So this is kind of the best idea I can come up with without bringing my other GoPro out and just using the one. But obviously this is your right hand tracks, your left hand tracks. So to go forwards the top, depending on which way obviously you're facing, if you've got rotated round, but when it's sitting the right way, forwards the top and backwards is the bottom for each track. So I want to got this hill, just push the the two tracks together, so there we go. And you can see the angle's getting quite steep, so what you can do, if you lower this here, you can lower your main arm, shift the weight, bring the, this side here, bring the other arm up. And also, if you move this to the right or left to move the bucket, you can sort of change the, the weight distribution. So when you come up, you can sort of just use that to get a bit of balance on the tracks. So, to spin it round, obviously, just opposite direction of the tracks. So, see so if you can bring it that way or that way. So, just now, I'll just kind of quite thick soil here. So, hard doing this hand looking at the camera, but. Can you make a little flat bed just to put the base it on? I'm gonna have to stop just now though because the way I've got to sit in the arms when not to go through over. <laughs> so you can see that I've kind of if I move it out the road just now you'll see that's made a sort of flat base to, to sit on while I'm digging. So also, I'll keep the sound off just now, just because I'm talking, but that's your sound on there, and that's your exhaust smoke, so just for the purposes of explaining this, I'll leave them off, but to rotate it round, just here, left and right, so if I want to dig, so I'm going to raise this bucket up, raise the one up there, then bring it down, and once I'm going in and pulling it, shift this over and sort of one motion 
then lift it up a cup again and as you can see that's quite a hefty pile of dirt it's got so just put that down over here just now still sort of in shot I mean once you've done this for 5-10 minutes it's kind of second nature it's just that's a more complicated try to talk through what I'm doing than actually doing it but you can see it's it's nice simple just like a computer game sort of motion it's just got pads got that feel there's nothing there's nothing hard about it I mean anybody could pick this up but it's got a lot of digging power I mean a metal bucket too there's there's loads of attachments you can get, sort of raking attachments, um, spikes, you get um, basically anything you can think of you can sort of get add to it that you can get for a real excavator but just now I'm digging quite deep just to show you, I mean, I mean that's like, you can see the size of my, my hand in Paris, I mean that's quite a big bucket of mud it's scooping up not a problem um, and also the video I had up before with, with the logs it's got a lot of lifting power, it's, it's just really really good little machine. You can give it a wee shake as well if you want to get stuff out of the bucket. But yeah that's really all there is to sort of drive in it. Um, just playing about having fun and obviously you can use it in your garden or just for whatever you want to do but uh, it's one of the best toys I've got myself for a while, so something different.